Hi there. This is my first review, if you will, if the of the EP Solar Tracer 2210 uh, with a remote display, which is useful for uh, configuration uh, for one. Um, the device can do more things than you can probably configure using just the single button on the front which is nigh impossible display recommended you can view the battery uh, percentage of uh, capacity which it still holds the temperature the current uh, how many watts you're using watts hour amp hours temperature outside and a possible temper coefficient well what I have here is um, the device hooked up to the wall, obviously. Um, the two wires below are for the battery, which it indicates with the green battery light. Then we have two MC4 connectors for the solar panel, which is not connected yet. So this is a first trial and error, well, startup, if you will, of a... 120 euros eBay special. Hold on. That's the minus. There goes the plus. And if all is well, I see the PV LEDs very slowly lining up. And in green, the charge indicator goes to green. It's reading 20.4 volts now. Not sure if you can read here. It's going to 17.8, which is about the nominal uh, maximum power point voltage for a 100 watt, 100 watts uh, polycrystal panel, which isn't special. Which was another eBay special. It was the cheapest I could find at about 62 euros, I believe, um, which is way under the current list price. Hence the investigation from the EU into the solar panel pricing from China oh well it's reading 17.42 volts now for the solar panel voltage which is good which means it actually is a maximum power point tracking solar charge controller um, what I'm normally using on this um, shed if you will because it's basically the shed for my uh, garden light um, is a street light controller which is a normal pulse width modulation. Look that up on Wikipedia if you will. Um, which is by far inferior in getting energy from your solar panel into the battery. Okay, so my phone is almost empty, which made it shut down, which is unfortunate. So I'm continue, continuing here. Um, the normal PWM charge controllers basically short the plus from your solar panel onto the plus of the battery which means you get an effective 12 volts and uh, 5 amps for example which is far less than 17 volts with 5 amps which is more power so you're effectively always throwing away about uh, 30 percent and if your solar panel uses uh, an even higher voltage which isn't uncommon for the normal 200 watts uh, solar panels with the five inch cells like you have on your roof which produce a nominal power at 37 volts you can imagine what kind of losses you could incur I'm gonna take the phone from the cradle here for a bit as soon as it lets me oh of course it doesn't there we go so what we have here is the solar panel coming from the outside which is on the top of this lovely roof then we have this device which reads the current voltage and we have buttons yay 12.7 volts for the battery and it's uh, currently charging at a 1.2 amps which is healthy but it's not sunny and it's overcast and gray and awful and at least dry there's no load connected currently so zero volts zero amps and it's not even on which you can do with this I suppose as soon as I uh, know how this actually works you can actually configure the amount of amp hours your battery has 
which is wonderful because it's 16 degrees outside it's cold and that means you can see what sort of state of star charge you have which is 47 percent and going up fast because this battery is broken wonderful it's a 12 volt 60 amp hour battery it's not special and i took it out of the car because it failed to crank the engine okay the device over here with the cables pv green battery green um i must say that the terminals on this thing are quite good they accept uh, 10 square millimeters of flexible wire without any issue and they look really sturdy. I have some high resolution pictures of this device, of the insides of this device, which I'll put in the comments section on YouTube. You can actually configure this, this device using the button on the front, if I knew how, but I failed to read. And this device is so much easier. So battery type 3. Which is flooded, which is uh, right for me. You have the timers, which is uh, 4 o'clock I believe, and timer 2 is night, something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I will have to read the manual, which I refuse to do. Here we have uh, the battery in a lovely basket. Um, a few chunky terminals. And it's a generic 60 amp hour car battery. Nothing special whatsoever. Uh, a 30 amp fuse just in case and it's a bit hard to read out there we go I have a special device which I bought on eBay as well it's about 30 euros 35 I believe with shipping if it was free or not I'm not sure it reads the battery voltage as well it says it's 7 degrees in here which is colder than the device thinks it is which is okay um, it's currently charging at plus 0.9 amps and 11 watts okay so the phone went empty again um, so it's really reading about 1.5 amps now it's a bit higher we're half an hour on in time now still working as it was before and we have the display here which reads 13.4 volts for the battery and charging with 1.9 amps so if I disconnect the 220 inverter I have here this should be the same so the, the weather is a bit mm, differing right now it's up and down there's some clouds enough to the sun is peeking through And 1.7, 22 watts from a 100 watt panel. It's not a much, but it's okay. It's good. It's good. So we have here the EP Solar Crazer 2210 uh, solar charge controller, MPPT solar charge controller, mind you. Um, recommended. I like it. It has uh, a proper display. You can configure it easily using the uh, display so I pr approve this product I, for something that's just 120 euros I mean you have the um, what's it called again one of the other commercial MPPT charge controllers and they tend to range in the 180 to 220 euros which is um, expensive 120 is far more reasonable and my um, team coordinator here seems to approve this product as well so yeah a solar chart controller for your shed garden lights RV M boat maybe sure why not <laughs>